Let's say you're going to a potluck and you need to bring a dish, or you're having your own party and you need to make something that's maybe not a lot of work so you can get it out on the table nice and quick and easy, and it's delicious. Well, today we're gonna to be making a potato casserole that you are gonna love. It contains some broccoli and some onions and lots of cheese and some Greek yogurt. And I tell you, it's creamy and delicious and just full of flavor. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after my chef joke. What's a potato's favorite TV show? Starch Trek. I like to make things as healthy as possible, so I bought some organic hash browns from Sprouts. Now check out these ingredients. There's only one ingredient, and it's organic potatoes. I'm using about two pounds here, and you're gonna to wanna to defrost these and then squeeze them with paper towels to get as much of the moisture and water out of them as you can. I'm using two packages, which equals about two pounds of potatoes. And remember, you can get the written recipe below the video in the description area. My next ingredient is some cream of chicken soup. Now you could use cream of mushroom if you want, that works too. Uh, but just check out your ingredients. This one is pretty darn clean. So I'm gonna place the whole can right on top of the potatoes. Next is about a half a cup of finely diced onions. So we'll sprinkle that in. Our next ingredient is Greek yogurt. Now I'm using Greek yogurt because it's thicker and it also has a lot more protein. I'm using plain non-fat yogurt here, but you can use you know, whole fat if you like. Next ingredient is some grass-fed butter that I got from Costco. Now this butter doesn't come in cubes, so you have to cut your own. Well, I'm gonna use about a quarter of a cup and I'm gonna you know, estimate what that is, cut it off. Then I'm gonna take the cube and I'm gonna use it to butter my dish. I'm gonna use a nine by 13 dish here and just rub it with the butter so that nothing sticks. Then I'm gonna barely melt the butter in the microwave so that it's nice and liquidy. Then I'm gonna pour that into my potato bowl. Next up, I'm using some cheddar cheese here. This is sharp. Feel free to use whatever kind of cheese you like, as long as it melts good. Now, I like to grate my own cheese because I'm kind of picky. I just like to have cheese and nothing added to it, like cellulose or anti-caking ingredients. And plus, it's even a little bit cheaper if you just, you know, spend a few minutes grating your own. And then we'll toss that into the bowl, and then I'm going to take my hands and I'm going to mix this up. And you certainly want to make sure your hands are clean before you do this, right? So you really wanna spend a, a minute or two mixing this up really well to get everything evenly combined. Now, if you really don't wanna get your hands in the bowl, yeah, you can use a spoon, okay. You are in charge of your mixing bowl. The last ingredient is some broccoli. Now I'm gonna cut a few florets off of this. And by the way, this is organic. When you cut these up, I like to keep them on the small side, you know, bite size, that way they cook up quicker and you know you don't have to cut them to eat them. And I wanted to share with you a little tip on cutting this up. So you can see that I'm starting with the stem side up and I'm just cutting down about, you know, not all the way to the little floret head because when you do cut through the head, then you get all these little crumbs all over because it breaks them off. And if you cut it this way and then just pull them apart, there's, you don't lose anything. Okay, so now we'll pour that broccoli right in, and this time I'm gonna be a little different and use a spoon. So I'll fold that in until it's evenly distributed. Oh, and I'll add a little bit of pepper here and a pinch of salt. I have my oven preheating to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, and we have one more ingredient to finish this off. All right, so let's pour that into our buttered casserole dish and spread it out. I'm gonna finish this off with a little more cheddar cheese. And then for my last ingredient, here it is. Siete's sea salt potato chips. These make a nice crunchy topping and check out these ingredients. They are clean as ever. Just crunch these with your hands and then sprinkle them right over the top. I am gonna sprinkle a little more cheese on top of the potato chips, just to make it extra cheesy. I'm gonna place this uncovered in the oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about an hour and we'll check it and we'll see how it looks. It must be time for chef joke number two. 
Why was the potato so quiet? Because it was a meditator. Here's our casserole after an hour and 15 minutes. Doesn't that look good? I'm going to take it out and let's serve it up. This is a cheesy, crunchy delight. You're going to love this. Serve it up with anything you want. Chicken, steak, uh, pork, fish, anything. It's an easy and delicious side dish. Get this, I had a salad the other day and I put some of this in it cold and it was delicious. Speaking of summer salads, try my strawberry salad with walnuts, goat cheese, and strawberry vinaigrette. You are gonna love it. Click that link on the screen and it'll take you right to the recipe. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, let me know by smashing the old like button and leave me a comment, I'd like to hear from you. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another delicious and healthy recipe.